Now, when, I, uh, when I'm down here, I'm, I'm not out building houses, so I, I do kind of priestly stuff and visit the sick, bring communion, anoint people, and bless houses. Uh, and so I get to meet a lot of families. Uh, but one, we, uh, they came up to us and said, the next house, Father, uh, the young man is paralyzed. And I believe he was paralyzed from birth. He was very, very small. And so we went into a back room, typical a dirt floor, a, this is a very difficult place. And this little, little fella, 22 years old, was in a hammock. And so he looked at me, and I just told him, I don't know if he understood, that I was going to pray with him. And as I, we went on with the prayers, he went into some convulsions and stuff, mild convulsions. So, but it, it was very moving. And then again, you leave and say, for the mom and the father and the family, it was so difficult to, uh, uh, to care for him in that, in that circumstance. Uh, but we continued down the road to visit other people. And I was a wonderful man of real character in his face. And he was sitting in a chair and he was suffering from bone cancer. He was dying. Now we would say in the States, he's in hospice care, but his, his hospice care is just with his family. And boy, does that, and the young people, I heard them talking about it, how important and how we're losing that in, in, this, in, in our country in a lot of ways is the, fan, the strength of the family. But these people have it down there. And again, there's sometimes you run into two and three generations in, in the same little house. And, and so this man was sitting there and you could see he had real character in his face, suffering from bone cancer. And he said, Father, I am here waiting to go to my father's house. And I talked with the young people and I said, isn't that something we all should think about? Because even with all the comfort we have, every day we get closer to our Father's house. And so if they take the lessons here, the simple lessons of just greeting people, uh, asking people their name and, and giving little presents to people or whatever, it's just being kind to people and recognizing their dignity as a person. And we get, we, there's so many ways we can show love and, and as we get closer to our Father's house, and it's very, very important. So.